All right. So I'm off to draw a circuit that will allow me to detect electromagnetic field. If this is my Arduino and the USB is on the top, I will count one pin and the second is going to be ground. That is going to be the pin that I use to connect a, an LED or a diode with this polarity. For the ones that are used to see diodes, we normally connect in another way. At this time, we will put it this, like this. And I was saying that from the left side bottom, I count one, I count two, I count three, and that's reset, I count four, that's the voltage, I count five, and that's A7. So A7 is going to be what I use to read. And in spite of this polarity of the diode, this is going to be useful for me. And I connect these two diodes together. So maybe in this drawing I will call them diode 1 and diode 2. And here I can put either a coil or a little quite open triangle symbolizing one of those old style antennas. So with this circuit right now I have an EMF detector. Now I'll try to identify the components. The um, The one that I have already on the breadboard is the Arduino Nano 33IoT. Pin 1 connected nothing. Pin 2 is going to be my ground. Then I will count 2 that I don't put anything. I put 1, 2, and the third one from there, the fifth from the bottom, is going to be where I put A7. So I have the Nano, I identify the pins. I will need to put the diodes uh, or LEDs. If you look at them, I already bent the legs, but in general they have one longer than the other. The one that is longer has the side that is round. The one that is shorter, it's the one that is flat. So. If I get to draw this, I draw from the top looking at it like this shape or from the side I will draw it like that and then I put one short leg have here the negative side and that flat side is the tip of the arrow and my positive is here, my negative is here. I will make a little arrow coming up or two arrows indicating that this is a light emitting diode. So now I said flat side is the tip of the arrow and I can look at this flat side is the tip of the arrow. I will put the round side of one of the LEDs on ground. It's also painted white here so that's easy for us to recognize. So I have here round side with ground. Flat side, it's in this line. For me, number 17. Now I'll go ahead and put the other one, that is the tip of the arrow has to go to A7, so here. I have to do one, two, three, four, five. And the other one has to reach out a little bit longer. And if you can make it because the legs are long enough, that's great. All this part of the circuit is ready. Now what is missing 
is an antenna. These cables are about 20 centimeters. And now to experiment with which antennas detect which frequencies and perhaps which locations of your house uh, have which kind of interference. If a pencil doesn't give you the results you want, you can try with something thinner. I actually prefer that a little bit, but it's it can become tough if your cable is um, very hard. Bend it all the way up. Uh, one of the things to experiment could be also that maybe you don't want this shape. You want to experiment with something like this. But definitely, this is a good starting point. So now what you will observe is a complicated phenomena. If your cable is long, there's high chance that even getting, getting your body close actually is already detecting a lot of noise. So then a very small source, like even random parts of my computer, wouldn't trigger it. For each place I go around I have to let it smooth the values out. So look at the difference between me grabbing the cable or not grabbing the cable. But if I grab it and the value is low, then the antenna can detect some corners that are actually much higher than others of my screen. Here on the keyboard, much higher than there. Here in the middle of there, also quite high. The orientation affects a lot. Whenever I get close to the power supply of the computer, you will see the values, they go to double. And if with my hand I hold this column that is here, Actually, it becomes a very, very, very stable detector. Fascinating. And maybe you have your own explorations, your own discoveries you want to share. I would actually be very interested in hearing them.